to see the rally that everyone has been talking about. Obviously, a, a little bit of a hiccup yesterday, but certainly on whole, we've seen quite a few positive sessions. James, it was another great day for the Australian share market, and I think the great thing about today's session was the bounce act back that we saw in volumes all week we've seen pretty bad volumes around that four billion dollar mark but today we saw the volumes coming in at 5.3 billion dollars so it looks like just a little bit more confidence coming through and that's understandable given that we have seen the market now rising six out of the last seven sessions in fact if we have a look at the last sessions on the Australian share market a massive rise during that time of 9.6 percent today was all about the resources we saw Rio Tinto coming out with that quarterly production report it was a good one iron ore at a record so those iron ore miners really piggybacking on the back of Rio's performance Fortescue was a standout out up by a massive 7.2 percent and we also saw Atlas Iron doing well up by 3.7 percent so today was another day where investors were willing to take on more risk and that was bad news for the defensive areas we saw the staples the utility sectors losing ground but altogether a fantastic day for the Australian market I guess with the market rising so strongly in the last seven sessions what you really want to see is some consolidation around these levels to ensure that it is a sustainable rise. And do you see that happening? Do you foresee that happening, Julia? I mean, are we getting people, because we keep hearing and have for some time heard about the cash on the sidelines, and people starting to think, oh, maybe this is the uptrend, maybe this is the rally we're looking for and starting to get into the market? We are seeing some more confidence coming into the market and that's reflected through in volumes but I guess the healthy thing would be to see a little bit of sideways movements for a month because of the speed um, and how quickly the market has really risen so altogether technical analysts looking for a bit of consolidation at these levels but the strength of the rise does suggest that we have more gains uh, coming into the end of the year so altogether positive signals coming through from the market but we want to see a sustainable rise so it would be good to see some consolidation consolidation at these companies particularly with the, the volatility we're seeing in, in commodity prices but is that offset by some degree in terms of valuations interesting some houses like as Martin said Macquarie upgrading the valuations and some of the miners we've seen other banks other investment houses actually downgrade uh, the outlooks or at least their price targets for some of the big miners we have a look at the miners they're really being driven by the outlook for China and if we have a look at Rio Tinto we've seen some very positive commentary coming out however the market does remain a little bit cautious about the China story we did get some numbers out and it does look like exports have export growth has slowed to uh, the slowest level that we've seen in around about seven months with China but more stimulus does seem to be coming through China seems prepared to support its stock market through its sovereign wealth fund so that's been supportive for the Shanghai Composite over the last couple of sessions and today we also heard of more stimulus measures for small businesses so some tax cuts as well as access to funds so altogether out of the region we are starting to see some concerns about growth we've seen the same type of commentary coming through from Japan Bank of Japan also mulling some more uh, stimulus over there and if we have a look at Japan exports industrial production as well as retail sales in the past month have underperformed market expectations. We will get Singapore's GDP numbers tomorrow and that's going to be interesting given that Singapore is very much seen as a barometer for global growth because it's seen pretty much as a port and of course during the global financial crisis we saw exports uh, in Singapore really plummeting by around about 11 percent so that GDP number out of Singapore could be an interesting one tomorrow. The market's really expecting that one to be flat but altogether it does look like uh, economies around the region looking at stimulus to offset the expectations of lower global growth.